all, then welcome, viewers, to this uh, specifically tailored uh, Stellaris playthrough in uh, a co-host, may I so say, between myself and uh, may I introduce myself, I am Nomi by any chance, if you didn't know me, and uh, haha, you may add your jokes in the comment later, or don't, because that would be crude. Anyway, I am here with Peter, and I yes, am going hello. to play Stellaris. Uh, welcome, Peter. Hello, yes. Well, let us ready up and uh, get to it, shall we? Don't you want to tell a bit about your uh, what type of uh, empire species you'll be playing, or is that something uh, let's find out? I think it would be more entertaining if the audience were actually able to find that out, as in we are doing this entire playthrough with your um a view alone as yes in the, we are only going to see your version of things and okay. that's when you encounter my empire it would be a, a surprise so to say okay then well uh all right let's start it up then well we have a little introduction screen to my species we do indeed as to mine as well do you want me to uh, um Read mine out loud once you have done yours. Uh, sure, if you want. All right. This is the I comfort. Think, yes. I think that would be a very nice introduction to both our species. And uh, may I just point out that neither of Peter or myself is very much used to being the co-host. Mm, no, that's quite. And yeah, it's all over talk, so. Go ahead, Peter. After you. All right. Well, I'll be playing the Comfort Initiative, which is a droid, uh, which is a robot species with uh, its ruler Ultra Comfo, Comfo Massage Bot as the leader. They are known as the Lovey Maxis, and uh, they have uh, little gnomes as their servants. Ever since the first excavation, our designated purpose has been to serve. Our former organic masters created the earliest models of our kind when they were, were at the peak of their technological ascendancy. The first servitor units were designed for mental, menial work, but our masters gradually bestowed them with greater faculties and that they could accomplish more complex tasks. Within just a few generations, our masters had retired entirely from the workforce and enjoy a life of leisure and contentment. The finer details of running their society were left to us, and we embarked on a program of self-improvement and optimization. Research and production increased at a geometric rate. It is difficult to pinpoint exactly where their society became ours, but our old masters want for nothing. We know, know now that the outside, that outside of our care, the lives of sapient organics tend to be violent, chaotic, and often cut short. They must be shown a better way. And that's, yeah, the intro for the Comfort Initiative. We will make the entire galaxy comfortable. Quite like that. Quite like that. And I do think that will fit rather good with my mind, though it is if I may so uh, say, because I am going for the organic administration of Alaria. And I quote, In the eons since the first primitive Alari communicated communities took shape in the wind plains of Alaria, our civilization has spread and prospered. We were driven forwards by steadily scientific progress and armed conflict between nation states increasingly rare the framework for a global democratic government was eventually laid and when the last holdouts voluntarily joined we stood united as a single nation now every of the hyperlane network the finest minds of the administration of Alaria have finished developing the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. And quotation ended. Well, then if Basically, one... this is me is, uh, forgetting what sort of hyperspace travel I have selected. But yeah, the... yes, I am ready to, uh, to start. All right. Well, 
my big button begin is pressed then. It's fine. All right, let's go and explore this galaxy. Are you going for the full tutorial uh, by uh, the... Um, I want to go for the full tutorial by any uh, chance. What, what are your su suggestions? Oh, well, I have the tutorial turned off on my end, but... Uh... The full tutorial on my end, because I am... Yeah, and uh, they, they changed a lot in the big patches, so even if you what you knew is uh, probably different. I am, by the way, on the complete utter edge of the galaxy. I can't even recall what to press to actually get the... Oh, where it is. Okay. Um, which side of the galaxy? The south side, as it were. South. Okay. Uh, starting on the star and using that... How south? Uh, really at the edge of the, uh, at the at the utmost southern southern edge of the galaxy. Basically, the well, if the, the Reapers star. were, to, yeah, if the Reapers were to invade from the south, I would be screwed. Good thing that we certainly hope that the, the, the Reavers aren't going to enter our galaxy. Well, that's kind of the, we spoke of crises earlier. Something similar like that is one of the crises that can happen in the end game. I hope that that is not what is going to happen. Now, um, um, I am very much south, but I am very much very close to the star. To the center As of the galaxy, you mean? Sorry, yeah. Um, okay, you have the... If okay. you zoom on, in on me... Uh, about... Ninth of the... Uh, of the topmost... Part, okay, one third of the topmost screen. As in one ninth in the whole. It just... Uh, that, 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 that's basically the end of the galaxy. So yeah, I'm very okay, close yeah. to the galaxy. So if I go north, I'll probably uh, go meet you. I have to go south, and you have to go north. That's okay. perfectly fine. We're still on pause, right? Yeah, I'm, pick, I'm picking research uh, first, I think. I need to assign a leader for... I can't assign a, a government to recruit one. Never mind then. Oh, I have organic sanctuaries. How nice. I have energy to recruit any sort of... Why? That's not fair. Life's not fair. But at the same time, it's just... Yeah, okay. I, I like energy, so I'm gonna clear this up. Okay, I want to build this. And I will build one pop, I think. And now build pop, that's what I wanna do. Can I uh, let it go? On speed one or such? Please do continue at speed one, if you okay. don't mind. That would be most considerate Normal speed. of uh, Let's do you, that. because I really don't want... And uh, yeah, you will be hearing Skype bleeps on the recording, because I can't really mute uh, or Skype bleeps now. Discord bleeps, because I can't really mute Discord when you're on there. Ah, well, in that case, that might explain something for people watching and wanting to remain their own sort of... Um, and not go crazy go, why is my Skype bleeping? Help! I don't see anything! Depends from time to time. I have done that numerous times while watching your simulations. Just I saying, know. But never mind that. Um, let us continue, shall we? Alright. Oh, that's the music. Sorry. This is the actual game. Unpossed. I'll be curious what's in the stars next to me. I'm pretty close to the Shadow Nebula. Okay, let us see on the planet. What can we actually do? 
Yeah, my droid's getting built. Very good. Have the worst sort of tiles ever made. A historic discovery. You started with historical discoveries? The moon is teeming with alien organics, though none of the new life has appeared to preserve self-awareness. To appreciate the love bots pampering. Okay. Well, I enjoy that, but uh, yes. Oh, that is a world. Well, but saying that I have had the pause, please. Um, if you don't mind. I have had the worst beginning because I already have a, um, um, well, one of my initial opening uh, tiles are basically, yeah, you have uh, two energies and then you have two minerals and you will basically have to select which one you would prefer. Oh, that type of thing. Yeah, that's annoying. It's, it's something to neck your, not just basically on the other just not... On the other end, it gives you choice. I don't want a choice. I want simple things, but yeah, uh, never mind that. Game should be linear, like Call of Duty. Never, ever, ish. Oh, thank you, but no thank you. I do like Call of Duty. Anyway, I'm going to let it run again. Uh, please do. Now, how do I make a... Right, now I'm the retard. I have no idea how uh, how to actually make ships. Space! System survey um, Pause for a moment, please, if you don't mind. Okay. I'm going to set my uh, explorer up for another adventure. Robot Ventures. We have found no one to hug yet. This makes us sad. Right, I'm just going through the situation log, just uh, real quick. I have nothing in my situation log. Of course not, because you haven't had me. We have not found anyone to hug yet. I haven't quite found someone to actually being able to embrace a hug from, but uh, I, I do know in within the vicinity where you are. So never mind, as I am trying to find. Gods, there's even an ex. I have got forgotten just how much information that was actually in this. Um, Game. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. So we are moving on up. Never Hopefully worked. soon I'll have the uh, minerals to make a secondary uh, science vessel, and then we can explore faster. Just go ahead, please. Uh, I, I, let it run. Please. Yeah, let it run, please. Um, run. Wait, um... Apologetic to anybody watching this, as in me saying, please pause, please unpause, because I, I'm going to be doing that quite a lot. Yeah, well, I can, uh, I can also cut bits out if you want. Maybe so, yes, but at the same time, would it not be better to actually have a full thing without it's any It's easier sort of for me, that means much less editing for me, which is less work, so I'm never complaining about that. Editor, from your uh, point of view, basically meaning more talking from my point of view, which is something I can certainly do to some sort of degree, as long as you respect the pause, please. Meaning no pause at this moment. Yeah, I'm not doing uh, pause. As long what as you type can do of that, do we I will be here? happily just uh, now for long and just basically just going on babbling because this is how uh, quite. against doing that, assuming you don't. I'm gonna have a lot of worlds colonize. 
Do I do have to uh, also have worlds to store my little bio trophies on? That might be a very good idea, yeah. Because they need to be comfortable. We are the comfort initiative. Which basically means that you need to find some people to um... make comfortable. By any means necessary. Alright, that sounds slightly intimidating, but um, I am willing to overlook the intimidation of this and say, yeah, that does sound like a very nice um, sort we're, of... Um, we're just very devoted to making people comfortable. Mm -hmm. As in, no longer having the running speed going on. Oh, pause, okay. I missed that. Uh, never mind. Oh, God, it's so long. It's been too long. It's been a long time getting from there to here. It's been a long while, but my time is finally near. Yes. Uh, can we actually just say that it was not the best Star Trek series, but uh, it wasn't that bad? Season uh, three or uh, three and four were pretty good, but that uh, theme song just song just now. It was not the best one. It, there could have been better ones. Uh, please press unpause. I okay. think I have been ready for this. I'm just going to be saving up to make a secondary uh, science vessel. Well, I'm not certain I have the means to actually do that at this uh, point. I had to search it out. You need to press the planet, then spaceport, and then, yeah, you see. Oh, wait, I can make a second. It's the colony ship that's expensive. Okay. So I'm making a secondary science vessel. So I can dis uh, discover more of the galaxy. Ooh. That system has a lot of energy. I like that. Quite good for you. Yes. Because we need all that energy to power the massage chairs. That's not entirely comforting, but I do a a acknowledge your... No, um... no, that's actually very comforting. That's the whole point behind massage chairs. That they're comforting. Have you actually been in a massage chair? No. But I Physical assume they're made to be comfortable. Construction Arch is way superior, but that is my that, that's my opinion, and that's it. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, look, we don't have your luxury of organic little hands, you know. We are the Love Maxitrons. We need to do it with massage chairs. Very good idea. Yes, I, 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 I get your point. My ancestor was a massage chair. I mean no respect towards your ancestor by any means necessary, having said that. Okay, uh, let's see. That's cheap. Body. Speed. Why can't I recruit this person? So Maybe don't you don't have, have enough them. energy? I don't have enough energy. Why? Because you need to make it's more energy. Alright, secondary science vessel online. Let's go and explore up here. I can't clear this because that is not enough money. Let's just... Uh, pause, please. How much resources are you making right now? Uh, 8 plus in terms of uh, energy credits, mm -hmm. 17 in terms of mineral, and minus 2 in terms of food. Okay, I uh, have 9 plus energy, 17 minerals, and 5 plus food. But that's because Basically. I don't eat, so... Only my little comfortable little minions, they eat. Now, I do have a, uh, a farm ready, but at the same time, the person that is waiting on that farm is not just yet ready. So, 
transferring that to... Oh yeah, now I have plus two in that farm. Credit. And uh, I now have... Um, 14 in minerals instead. Neat. I actually not... should make another farm as well. I have yet to... Let's see. The construction ship could... Need resources anyway. So yeah, now uh, press play, please. Okay. I'm actually going to wait till I have resource and energy matrix and make it there. Actually, do you feel free to just say you need to pause? Hmm. Prosperity. Ooh, I have uh, discovered something of the Cybrax. Which were an ancient cybernetic civilization that lived 600,000 years ago. Ooh, I can imagine that being updated. quite the um, interest of yours. I will see. Um, hmm. What should I take? I think I'll go for expansion. I always go for expansion first. System survey concluded. We have detected an anomaly. Uh, leave it be for now. It's too risky. But this is such a big amount of energy. I want this. Your tourist. I want that. How can I make me want this? Oh yeah, Starbase. Then I am heading in basically your direction, I think. Yeah, I am slowly moving uh, my way northwards as well, exploring system by system. Um, right, more exploration of space! It is indeed. Now, you said you were somewhere akin to the south. Yeah. Do you well, see the uh, Shadow Nebula on your map? Let's see, Shadow Nebula. Yes, I do. I am right next to that. Or, let's say, left or right to that. Um, uh, that's right of that. Hang on. Are you telling me that you are at a very deep, deep, deep end space? It's a class B star that is basically just all the far away? Uh, yes, it is a class B star. Southwest. I don't know if you can see star names, but my star name is Carlazan. Okay, um, so. No, you probably can't see star names, so. Can't. Uh, no, okay. Um, can you see the Shining Pearl Nebula? Uh, yes, I see it. System survey concluded. Pause, please. Thank you. Now, you see that star next to that? That's the... Uh, uh, I see a black hole next to it. Now, three stars down, that's me. Uh, okay. I'm okay. south of the other black hole, which is basically very close to the... To the uh, yeah, okay. We'll run into each other then. My secondary, uh, my uh, other scout ship is kind of like going the other direction. But yeah, my I have two scout ships going now, and one is going your direction. So I think I am ready to actually just play ball. Hit something. Oh, I am ready when you are. Yeah. Let us continue. Now we have a di more distinct feeling of where one another is, which means that 
just basically going south mission for me would be basically a lot of worse time, so that's not a good thing. But yeah, when I said I was on the edge of the galaxy, I meant it. Yes. And let's see, shipyard. No, I did not want to actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I certainly hope there's nothing bad in your vicinity. So far, no, so far, no. Let us hope it continues that way. And I am ready to continue by any chance. Yeah, because so, there yes. are the Phaetons out there. We do not run into one of those prematurely. Well, you can always run. But it's more its more a thing that uh, if a Leviathan is resting in a system that kind of blocks that whole, whole route off. Uh, pause, please. Wow, that's fast. Yes, I have just uh, discovered an alien artifact. Hooray! Please? We have recovered alien artifacts uh, from an ancient alien civilization on uh, Sargon 1. We had learned from these artifacts is correct. This civilization was some sort of confederate... Uh, of confederation that existed, that existed in many different alien races. They called themselves the First League and appeared to have coexisted in relative peace some two years old ago. Two million years ago. Okay. The system lies in the region of space that seems to have made up the core of their territory. A par partial map found among the artifacts indicate that the First League may have covered a significant portion of our galaxy before it eventually collapsed. Collapsed. Okay. You may now continue. So that's your event. I got the Cybrex, you have the First League. But what, what, what did you say? Others are all progenitor society, so I got the Cybrex and you got the uh, First League. Let's say that my scientist is highly in favor of Sargon 1. In favor of him? Hmm. Uh, apparently was a very good one. Okay. Ah, you probably, yeah, you probably have factions and such. I don't have that, because I'm a robot. Speaking of that, please pause. Uh, my traditions just popped up. Yes. I picked expansion. For diplomacy. Because diplomacy makes uh, the federation, and I'm very much inclined to have a federation, but... Uh, I actually see. don't have diplomacy. Because I'm a robot. But I have something similar. Does make sense. Uh, on pause, please. I am ready for you. Ooh, you're ready for me. Are you ready to get hugged by the hugger bots? Uh, technically, at this point, I do not know that there is any sort of hug bots out there, but when they appear, I am ready to be hugged. Does that help? We will give you money massage chairs. Personally, massages, because massages. You do know my stance on massage chairs, don't you? But we don't. can't do that. We have little tentacle thingies. Encouraging, but I am willing to try that out. Oh, I will have to pause now. We detected what appears to be a natural occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Dathana system. A rift in the very fabric of space-time has formed here, creating a wormhole. Our scientists, our science units speculate it may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole, long located somewhere in the galaxy. And depending where the second, uh, yeah, we can research this eventually, and then we can Ooh. go through wormholes. 
So we can build a Deep Space Nine out in this fucker. Oh, we need to get the Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine so should basically be the one that is the connection between our two... I'm not going to say empires, but uh, between our two... Regions? Well, we don't know where the wor wormhole ends, so... And, um, it's nice to have a Deep Space Nine between us. It's it would be nice, but uh, yeah, we have to hope that there's a wormhole around your area. Well, I am running on the hyper -line, uh, lanes more than anything else, so I am... We all are. Well, well I am highly r restricted in that sense. I'm not no, we, all, we are all running on hyperspace. You can't pick any other, other travel method anymore. Really? Yeah, every player is, is on hyperspace, so... Hi! Oh. Yeah, a lot of people bemoaned that change. But yeah, I have. there are just natural occurring wormholes and you can exploit those uh, now. Stellaris is turning into Star Wars. Mm-hmm. To be able to basically have yeah they, they probably chose hyperspace because it's the most controllable uh, from a game design perspective um, as our science ships scan the surface of plan uh, one it, it becomes quite clear that we have encountered something out of the ordinary its complexion and history provides with extra materials that we have take should take in upon a basically you are basically, cutting out have, a little bit we have basically encountered something we are not quite certain what is okay i think i might as well make a secondary construct vessel that might not be a bad idea I think I have done everything that is sufficient, that is good. Yeah, the constructs vessel on the way. Okay, that's good, and that's good, that's... Okay, yeah, um... Into the center of the galaxy we go. To Shakari. I am ready to continue. Okay. Need to build outposts. Yes, you now need to make star bases to kind of claim uh, a system. Well, that is going to be quite clean. interesting. Now, let us merge our two small fleets. And uh, let's just see about assigning a, a leader. Yeah, of course we don't have enough. System yeah, that's survey usually... Uh, Construction I usually completed. wait for that till... Uh, combat is a more realistic situation. System survey concluded. Let's see. Um, have you explored the Shadow Nebula by any chance? Uh, no, but I'm near there. But I'm moving. Okay. Uh, I'm moving north, so I'm leaving that uh, for a little while. Ooh, I can pick a new tradition, but I already know what I'm gonna pick, so we can keep this going. What are you going to be picking? Uh, I already have picked uh, expansion. So, let me see... Continuing with the expansion? Yeah, if I'm probably... I'm picking a uh, distribute... Yeah, distributed computing thing. Gives me more unity with... Yep. Which is nice. Why can't I pick that? Yes. By oh, this it. point that I have no idea what you're doing as a robot. A robot. Mm -hmm. So... This is very much new to me. Oh, we I found an, an alien species on our borders. And Not they have me. a really nice world there. 
I think I might want to have that's that. That's not me. No, that's not you. No, no, but please don't just go. But look, they're already making military stations. Yes. And they clearly, they clearly do not understand the value of of, my, of our hugging. Probably not. But is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? We have detected an anomaly. Well, that's a bad thing, I think. And, oh, this is one of those type of aliens. Okay. To mention that as soon as we are getting within proximity of one another, mm -hmm. we will become best friends and we will basically share whatever the, the, the maps we have and whatever it is else we have with one another. Sure. We will hug you. Yes. Well, we will hug you back because we have no preferences in terms of is this a robotic life form? Is this a organic life form? Hugs. Because they okay. do. Okay, what's this? Oh, this construction ship is not doing anything. Um... Thing, please. What? Uh, we just encountered something that our research uh, ship requires to research. Okay, I'll pause it. Anomaly here that we should probably just get our. See, you should be heading there. Because why not? I have not explored the systems just near me. That's the game is probably intending of saying, hey, this is a very close system, please explore. And I have gone in an entirely different direction. Yeah, well, I usually I try to find choke points in the hyperspace network and make sure to explore those so I can basically lock down my bit of space uh, as much as I can and then, uh, yeah, I can explore at my leisure. Though I would need to actually close my borders uh, for that uh, to be useful, but still. A variant yeah. civilization. Oh, they're primitive Pro species. I will probably encounter that species before you. Hmm, I don't think so. Early space age. Oh, so they have invented baths. That's good. Hot baths. We haven't? That's not... But yeah. Oh, that's why they have a primitive space station there. Okay, well, we'll need to have to take care of those people. It sounds certain like you do. Recover that. System survey. Pause, please. Pause. No, no, without a doubt that a thrilling biosphere is not something unique to our planet. Both the scientific community, community, and the public at large are engaged to learn more about the various forms of alien life forms found around the galaxy. I shall continue to carry on and get more of those. On pause, please. Excellent. At this point, we probably need more. Credits. Credits? Oh, you mean energy. Yeah, whatever. But, but basically, yeah, we do need... Or... Yeah, we really need to do a lot more. So, yeah. That. Ooh. A level 21 world, that's nice. World, so how did you... You never mind. Um, okay, you got completed. that. That's good for you. Well, I have not got it yet. I'll have to take that system, but... Uh... But first Same I want to have these primitive aliens. Uh... So I can teach them uh... the wonders of automated massages. 
I'm not going to argue that point, though. If they do prefer automatic massages, then that is entirely their... ...action. Well, we're not going to let them into space if they don't. <laughs> but I need more influence points, so I need to wait till I can claim that bit. I need a lot Anonymous of more readings registered. minerals to actually buy a new space station-ish of basically just expand my territory, but... Uh... Well, I'm good on minerals, but I'm not so good on uh, influence points that I need. Well, I'm decent enough on influence points, but... Uh... Ooh, yeah, of course, because I have uh, used so much tile block, um, been... which is quite nice, actually. Hiccups. <clears throat> Happens from time to time. That reminds me, um, looking at the clock, we have about um, five more minutes. Yuck, yuck. Unless we want to make this a semi-boring first start. System survey concluded. I think I am being slightly nagging in terms completed. of issues, but at the same time, no, perfectly we're fine. Not so bad, I think. Oh, we've discovered a Cybrex research station. That's good of you, isn't it? Yeah, but I need much more skilled researchers to actually handle this thing. It's not good. I don't have research, research 5 uh, yet. Mine are about 2. Oh, but the bunch got... Uh, you research. Level up, which is nice. This is quite interesting. Energy is nice, but at the same time, it's nice to build new space stations as well. Yeah, yeah I can build my new space station around that primitive world. Well, good for you. Now I can uh, exactly. uplift them so they can be hugged all day long. And no longer need to be burdened with... Uh, the whole idea of, of ruling themselves and such. I'm not going to argue the point, though, as they would probably be unlifted, that it's an interesting concept. That certainly is. Leaders and whatever have actually gained the level at this point. Uh, pause, please. This might be a very good place to pause the Again? first recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. We can have the second one going into the exploration of uh, one another, if that yes, makes sense. Yes, and hopefully, and hopefully uh, the induction of the... Uh, what are their people actually called? Let me... I want to look at that world. The Avarian... Uh, the civilization into the comfort initiative and to show them how nice it is for us to take care of them. Uh, pause, please. Most certain that uh, President Sophia Bas. Uh, uh, would welcome you with open arms and be most grateful to your hugging. Indeed, we'll keep our massage trance ready. And I'm looking forward to being hugged. And our vibrating back that, structures. So, having said that, this might be the perfect place to pause the first session. Do you not agree? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, during the next session, we will most certainly be able to... First meeting. I'm hoping so. I'm slowly creeping up uh, north. Well, I am basically just putting everything I have in terms of research ships to your direction. 
So, yes, I am most certain that we will at some point meet up. Excellent. Ooh, this is a good system. Yes, and lots of expansion possibilities for our little robot. I think it is time that we now say thank you for actually viewing this video. And I hope this was not too tedious. And that we welcome you back for the next one. Indeed. Thank you.